What's up guys, it's Nicole here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I got from Colourpop. I love Colourpop, I've ordered from them before and this is real Colourpop. Um, I ordered like two other lip stuff from Colourpop before, one of their lippy sticks and then one of their matte lip colours. And this time I got a bunch of lip colours and a highlighter and a blush. So I'm going to show you guys... So I'm going to show you guys what it comes in and how it was packaged and then show you guys everything that I got. So this is the box that it came in. I am not going to show you my address and everything obviously but it says fragile at the top and I'm pretty sure it says it somewhere else. I'm not sure. No, just at the top. But this is the box that it came in and it came packaged with a bunch of this foam stuff which is awesome because... It's super protected and I just, I don't know, I was like really shocked that they were packaged so good because I don't remember my other Colourpop order from a while ago being packaged this good. So they're definitely upping their package game. But this is what the box looks like, which is super cute and colourful because in Australia it is now summer. So yeah, this is like, like so bright and I love it. So when you open the box, you will see your order and everything that you got. Um, so yeah, and it basically just tells you how much quantities of everything that you got and the colours and everything, so that's awesome. And then it also comes with a little booklet that tells you about each of the products that Colourpop sells and what they do and, you know, all the different types, so like sheer, glossy, cream, all that kind of stuff and how you can apply it. So that's pretty good as well if you've never used any of their products and you want to know what each of the things mean. And then it comes with a little Colourpop thank you card. So starting off with the colour that is on my lips, I am wearing a ultra glossy matte. So this is one of their glosses and this is in the shade Finding Keepers. This is what it looks like. I don't know how well the colours are going to show up because of my lighting, but... Yeah, this is what it looks like and I will insert swatches for you guys next to it or somewhere around here. The other glossy lip colour that I got was Cheat Code and this is a met this metallic this is a metallic colour. It's like a orangey bronzy kind of shimmer and I love this colour. It is crazy pigmented. For a lip gloss, I definitely recommend getting this colour. It's gorgeous. Oh my god, like I love this colour. Yeah, get it. Get it. I also ended up getting one matte lip colour and this is in the colour Kapow. It looks like this. It's kind of like a pinkish nude. And this is also a super cute colour. All the applicators are doe foot applicators. And the formula is pretty runny, but when you put it on, it just feels really, really comfortable. And yeah, even the matte ones feel really comfortable and they are definitely not drying at all. The rest of the colours that I got are all satin colours. And I didn't even notice when I was purchasing all of these that they were satin or matte or gloss. I mean, I did notice the glossy ones because I wanted to try some of the glosses and see how pigmented they are. And as you can tell by the ones on my lips... And in the swatches, they are super pigmented. So, this is the first satin colour that I got. And this is in the colour Petit Flower or Petit Flower. I'm not sure if the T's are silent or whatever. But this is like a greyish colour and it's really different. I really like it actually. I've been wanting to get this colour for such a long time. But it's so different and unique. And I just wanted to have it in my collection. So I picked this colour up. The next colour that I got was two lips. So like T double O lips. And this is also like a more darker pinkish colour. And it's kind of like pinkish purple in a way. But it's really nice. And I also like this. It's kind of like a darker nude kind of colour. I don't even know if these are nudes. Like I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know how to describe colour. But you can see the colour and this is what it looks like. So, yeah. I also want to say that on the website, some of the colours actually look different to when you receive them in person. Because I personally chose out a few orangey looking shades. And when they got here, none of them were really orange Were really orange besides cheat codes. So, 
keep that in mind when you are purchasing based on colour. So the next satin colour that I've got is So Wavy. And oh my god, this is like a bright purple. It's like so neony and gorgeous and I love this colour. Um, it's also really different and unique. And I think it'll be good for summer in Australia. And yeah, oh my god. I nearly dropped the box. The next colour that I got is Screenshot. And I'm pretty sure this might have been one of the ones that looked orange on the website. I'm not sure, but it kind of looks like a peachy nude, which might have come off as orange online. But yeah, this is like a peachy nude, also super cute. And all these colours actually, these colours actually look really good on my skin tone, which I didn't think they would because some look really bright, like that one, but they do suit me. So, you know, win-win situation. Next thing that I got was a cream gel eyeliner and I also got this because I wanted to try it and see how pigmented they would be. This one is in the colour Brew Ha Ha and it is a brown colour. I got a brown because I don't have any brown eyeliners. Okay, these are super creamy. I'm not, I haven't actually swatched this on my hand but it just broke but these are super creamy and pigmented as you can see. It just glided on and yet yeah, recommend not to wind this up too high otherwise it'll break like mine just did but this isn't as pigmented on my waterline as i thought it would be which kind of sucks but you know it's whatever and it's a pretty color so yeah i really like it this is a blush in the color never been kissed and it is super super creamy like it's weird it's like some powdery creamy kind of formula going on I don't know, honestly. When you touch it, it's so soft and it just glides on your finger. And, like, it is amazing. The formula is amazing. The swatch is amazing. It's so pigmented. I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because of the lighting. But it is literally so pigmented, as you can see. And the formula is crazy intense. I've never felt anything like this, honestly. Same goes for this highlighter, which I got in the color Hippo. It's like a light purpley. Is a light purple like lilac? I don't know. But it's like a light purple. <laughs> and it looks like this. Also crazy weird formula going on. Like it's such a weird texture i can't i can't describe the texture it's just it feels so soft and creamy like i don't even know if it's a powder it's just creamy I, where do i swatch this you can see how pigmented that is i don't know how it's gonna show on camera but it's so pigmented when on your hands i am wearing it today but it's mixed with another highlighter I feel like on the face, it doesn't show up as well. Maybe because it's too light, I don't know. But it doesn't show up as well on the face, which is sad. But if you use a finger, it kind of does help it out a bit more. So I would probably try and use your finger with this. That is all I got, guys. If you've ever tried Colourpop or ever heard of Colourpop, you know how extremely cheap they are and pigmented and great quality they are so i recommend that you do go out and get the real color pop um and definitely invest in it because it's a great quality and it's a great price so why not but i hope you guys like this video thank you so much for watching please give it a big thumbs up and hit that blah, 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 hit that subscribe button down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye Who does peace signs anymore? I don't know. Damn it. I keep looking at these swatches. They look so out of place. But like, they're so good.